All right, I think we're almost ready to go. Perfect, perfect. Alright, we're finally back. It's finally loaded. I hear the music. We're all good to go. This is Time Gal. I'm gonna try and get this done in one clear. Let me just make sure that the window is captured correctly. Yep, okay, it looks perfect. Alright, uh... There's no incentives or anything from chat. I just want everybody to pop out their popcorn and their cola or whatever they're drinking, water, stay hydrated, and just enjoy the show. This is a, a really beautiful game, uh, really, really, really under, underrated, and uh, it's kind of fallen to obscurity. It's been released on Arcade, Sega CD. Um, it was released on PlayStation, all sorts of formats, so... Uh, I am the current world record holder, holder in this game. It took me uh, almost half a year to get there. And then lately I've taken a break, so I haven't been able to keep up as as well I was before, but I'm still going to try and get perfect and explain as we go. So, three, two, one, time go. All right, so this is the stage's order is random, and we got the BC 16,000 first. So we're going to go... The order for this stage is always the same. Uh, some stages in this game are very short, especially the beginning ones have some quick ones. Uh, but the order in which sta uh, stages can come is completely random. And the, um, the... Some stages will get reversed. So this... It actually it may seem like it's an easy game because QTEs, but there's a lot of there's a lot of random factor in this game, uh, and a lot of a lot of uh, difficult things. So I'm actually I'm doing my best to memorize each stage, and we're gonna sometimes we'll get to these points where we have to time stop, and then we have to choose the right option. So this option is go up. We're gonna go run away upwards. Any other option on the time stops will lead to a loss. Usually, time stops come at the end of the stage, usually. Uh, BC44 is an extremely long stage. It's very easy to make a mistake. Um, but luckily, we pick up our little sword here. One. Two. Three. It breaks. We're going to duck. And then we're going to jump up. All right, we got to watch out for the scary panther. Wow. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> We're gonna go up here. This stage luckily doesn't reverse, but it's extremely long. And uh, the thing that makes Time Gal a little bit difficult is that uh, the, the sections at which you have to time things seem to be separated by... Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the good luck. Thank you all for the good luck on the run. Okay, we got normal, normal order, no reverse. Jump on this rock, jump on the back rock. We're gonna quickly grab onto this side over here. Uh oh, the cavemen. We'll go down. And luckily, because the order was right, we know that it's going right first. And then we're gonna go right again through the woods and right, and then spring off this. Shoot some pterodactyls in the face. And, uh oh, time stop! We're gonna run away. Any other option gets us bopped, so <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> Alright, this one can be, uh, be reversed, but luckily we got the normal order. 
This next coming up section can also get reversed, but we got a little bit lucky. We're going to jump on the dinosaur's head and then on to safety, and we'll go to the next zone here. Uh, there are frame perfect things in here, which is why this is a. Uh, technically, somebody could get tied world first, but honestly, I would be so excited if someone did that. This game is extremely hard. Uh, it's. I've seen it played in, in arcade, and I've played in arcade myself too, but it's extremely. It's just one of those games you have to play a lot. And uh, like I said, half a year of practice. Oops, made a mistake there. That's okay. Get one more shot. Kimari, next stage. Okay. Okay, good. 1941 is a dangerous place, but we're gonna hop on these planes. And the fun, cool thing about the stage is if you if you die on a on a stage here, she'll call out the names of her family members dep depending on where you get shot down. <laughs> so little, there's little minor details here, but a lot of the misses in this game are extremely. Um, are extremely interesting. All right, we're gonna go into the sea. I almost hop, almost clicked, go onto the ship. We don't want that. <laughs> and you can also pray there, but that doesn't do anything. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and ride these missiles, and we're gonna jump up onto the ship at the very last second. I'm getting very, uh, very lucky with the order. I haven't got too many reverse stages. Reverse stages can really, really throw things off. And they can come in the middle of the stage, too. So this is a reverse stage. This is one of the reverse stages that tends to throw me off a little bit. But we should be able to get through it. Get through these rocks. This is probably one of the funnest stages. So I'll be a little bit quiet here as we go uh, go for the uh, our Donkey Kong go-kart ride. Jump up. Okay, we got it. Go ahead and shoot this boulder off. And jump. We're not at safety yet. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this stage is extremely fun. Uh, you just... Honestly, this is the first stage I, I, I figured out. You just have to really hit up during this stage. And, and then left one time and you get the safety. But pirates are no joke, so... We still have to worry about um, making sure we hit the, uh, the action buttons and the direction buttons at the right time. We hit the save point. So there are save points in this game. Okay, we're going to go on to the big ship. It tries to trick you. It makes you feel like you can go on that small, but you actually just get blown to smithereens if you do that. Next stage. 1990 tends to reverse. All the, for some reason, all the war stages in this tend to reverse. Go down to safety. Somehow those tanks just run into each other. Yeah, this game really is, it, it's amazing how well it looks, the amount of detail in this game. Um, it's just fantastic. Currently, I've been running a, a, a couple of these games on my channel. Uh, we've been practicing this game called uh, Super Don Quixote. Uh, it's just been taking a while. It's probably got about three to four more months before we can run it perfectly. But uh, if you like what you're seeing today, that's another one. That one actually is less random than Time Gal. It's just longer and, and harder in my opinion uh, the meteor stage is the this is the hardest stage in the game so i'm going to be a little bit quiet here i'm holding my breath the frames are very tight uh especially when we land you'll see we'll have to shoot one of the the meteors that come down Whew. 
Okay, okay, we got through it. 84,000. This is one of my favorite stage. I tend to get mixed up by which side we're on, but I, I seem to be all right that time. We're going to go down here. Which one was it? That's sad we have to say that. <laughs> we... <laughs> All right, we're going to go down into the main base here and then proceed on to the next stage. We're going this is actually going really really well. 80 This is my favorite stage in the whole game. It's just the animation is beautiful. Beautiful in this stage. I mean, I don't know what happened in this future or what uh, the villain did, but he really made a mess of things. We're going to get webbed. But it's okay. We have the power to t stop time. So we're going to go ho ahead and open the hatch. And this is little command. You don't have to just open the hatch. You have to make sure that you stay inside. And then shoot the enemy off of you. And then you'll proceed to the next stage. All right. Giant Swordsman is a little hard, but I practiced before this, so I, I luckily I didn't mess up the order. I tend to I'm always make a mistake of which side to go uh, down this hallway, if it's the left or right, but I, would, I guess right, it's right, which means the next one is left. <laughs> Time stop. Where do you think we're going? We're going up. When in doubt, you should always go up in this game. <laughs> That's the theme I noticed. AD 2001. This is the Hokudanoken stage, I like to call it. Mad Max kind of, kind of vibes. Not too long, but uh, a little bit... Uh, the frames here are a little bit tight. That little extra beep you heard, that was me getting, getting extra life. Uh, getting extra lives in this game give you extra points at the end of the game. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slide under this oil tanker. I'm always looking for more runners of this game. I just think, um, even just playing it casually, if you're if you're a gamer, it's. Oh, wait, a little mistake there. I mean, I made like that every day. I've made that same mistake on the part. This is the last level, by the way. So I hope you. I hope everyone's enjoyed this. I really do. If your timing on your side, it's uh, time stops on the final, uh, final time stop. GG. Enjoy the credits. 11.29. I don't think that... That's definitely not world record because we had a miss. But... Or two misses. But... Still really good. And a few frames were slow. You can get things on a, on a quick frame. But we've saved the day. We've saved time. Thank you, time gal. And thank you to Taito for such a great game. I, I really there's an this game and uh, Ninja Hayate are extremely fun. Uh, my name's been DBK. This has been live. Let's see, can I type obscure? I'll do obscure. It's the... Obscure. <laughs> no, no, okay. Well, that was Time Gal. Uh, I don't. I could honestly talk about this game for a lot. Um, it's available on iPhone, the version that I'm playing right now, which is exactly like the arcade version. Um, and it's actually available on a couple other platforms. But I run this every once in a while on my channel as well, if you're interested in these LaserDisc arcade games. It's, it's something that I've 
uh, Sega CD, Laserdisc, those FMV style type of games I've been, I've been running a lot uh, when I'm not running uh, random fighting games. Thank you very much, Anna and Anthem San, for the GG. Um, let's, let me go ahead and switch back now to the PlayStation. I've got one more run. If you guys aren't tired of me yet already, <laughs> I've got one more for uh, Shaman King and the fight of shamans. And then, uh, that's the game I've been running quite a bit, uh, trying to get ready for, uh, the anime marathon, uh, which is coming up also on Speed Gaming in May. If you're interested, there is an anime, uh, speedrun discord. So if you're speedrun an anime game, I highly, highly, highly recommend joining that discord. The chat is popping off. Uh, there's so much good conversation. We've all been running each other's games. Um, really, really friendly place. And honestly, um, I, I think uh, we want to do more stuff with like Obscurathon in the future as well because uh, a lot of anime is very obscure, just like Time Gal here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch games to Shaman King. And uh, while I do that... Um, let me pass it off to the wonderful I'm a real boy song. <laughs> 